So hello, hello everyone, this is Dunstable Gymnastics again. So we're going to do our stretch now and then go on to our lesson for recreational and advanced recreational gymnasts. So we're going to start with our head to toe stretch. So first of all, we're going to look from one corner to the other of the room over our shoulder, moving our neck, then up and down, looking at the ceiling, then looking at the floor. So then we're going to go to the side again, one side and then to the other. We're going to work on our arms, a nice, big, large, slow circles with our arms going forward, rotating forward. And going back the other way, so in reverse, our nice straight arms going backwards. And then if you're really clever, one each way. We're going to start in a straddle and lean one arm over our ear with our hand on our hip. Now don't overextend and lean forward. Remember to stay in a nice straight line. So not like Chloe just showed us. So Chloe, if you show us the bad way again, that's not good. So we need to keep nice and straight. So if you can't go as far as Chloe, that's not a problem. Just do a teeny weeny one. That's fine. Nice big stretch down the side. And we're gonna reach down to our ankles with our arms, keeping our legs nice and straight. Try and put your nose on your knee. So down one side and then down to the other. And a nice big long stretch up the back of our legs. Then up and leaning backwards as far as you can. And then back down to the table and then down to the floor. So going down onto the floor now um, on our hands and knees and we're rocking backwards and forwards. And moving our hands round, so our fingers are pointing towards our knees, so we're stretching. That's good, well done. And we're going to move our hands around. And this is a cat stretch, so keeping those legs together, squeeze them together and your toes pointed and pushing up your chest with straight arms. Then back down again, so we're sitting our bottom onto our knees and stretching our arms out in front. So we're sitting in a pike position. We're going to try and reach down to our ankles. And back up again, and then back down to our feet. And then we're going to shake it out a bit and get ready for our lesson. Okay, so the first thing we're going to practice today is our rock and roll or our rock and roll to stand. So depending if you're recreational or advanced recreational, this is really good for your tummy and it's the end of a forward roll. So first of all, for the first level, it will be rock and roll. So just in a tuck position with our toes pointing, holding onto our knees, we're going to rock backwards and forwards. Now, if you're able to do that, we can do a rock backwards and forwards to reach to stand. So when we do our reach to stand which Chloe's going to show again, she's not putting her hands on the floor. So she's rocking backwards and forwards and pushing up to reach in front of her. So try not to put your hands on the floor. We can practice that during the week. We're next going to work on our lunges. So this is going to be a forward, forward falling tree lunge. So you're going to stand nice and straight with your arms up by your ears. Then you're going to go on your tiptoes and then you're going to fall forward slightly and put one leg in front of the other into a lunge. So our arms should be by our ears at all times. So if Chloe, you could do it sideways so we can see the shape, please. So up on our toes and lunge, making a nice diagonal shape. Well done. We can practice that because that is the beginning of our cartwheels, our, hand, our handstands and our round-offs. So we can practice all of those. We're next going to move on to our needle kick. So this is for our flexibility. So you're going to start nice and straight and tall with your arms by your ears and your, one of your legs forward with your toe pointed. You're then going to reach down to one of your legs and reach the other in the air. And we could do five on each side. And this is an example. So Chloe's only done two, but you could do five on each side. Right, then we're going to move on to our jumps. So you've got three levels. You've got a normal stretch jump. 
So remember to start with your knees bent, arms up by your ears as you jump. Should we try that again? So arm, bend knees, arms down, all the way in the air and land with our knees bent and together and our hands up in the air. So next we're going to move on to the next level. So the next level is our stretch jump half turn. So exactly the same, except we're going to turn around as we jump. So bending knees, stretch jump and land. And Chloe's going to come back for us and land. And then for our very advanced gymnasts, this would be our stretch jump full turn. So we're going to start again in the same position, but we're going to go all the way around. Remember to find that spot on the wall where you start and then you can finish in the same place. Just so move your head round and try and get back to that spot. Well done. So our next move again is going to be in three levels. And this is really for the beam and the floor. So we're going to do first of all our releve half turn. So feet slightly apart, and if you're struggling, maybe further apart. Then you're going to go onto your tiptoes and turn on our toes to face the other way. Now it's a little bit tricky for some of us to remember which way to go. So let's show again. So Chloe goes up and turns. Okay. So the next level up would be our half spin. So Chloe's going to demonstrate our half spin. So put your hand in the position that Chloe has them in with one foot forward, with one toe pointing forward and one leg forward. Then she goes up on our toes, down, up on our toes and turns. We'll get Chloe to show that again for us. So remember you keep your shoulders back and really, really good posture. Good job. And for our more advanced gymnasts, we're going to do our full spin. Now to do these moves, you'll probably want socks on on the carpet. Or if you've got socks on on the hard floor, please make sure it's not too slippy so you don't fall over. Um, if you haven't got socks on, it's going to be a little bit difficult because you're probably going to get stuck to the floor. Okay, so for our full spin. Okay, that's really good. And we'll do one more from Chloe and then we can use those to watch back. Good job, Chloe. Thank you. And finally, we're going to look at our splits conditioning. So Chloe's going to show you just a couple of splits conditioning moves we can use. So this is our lunge forward. So our legs straight behind us. Our knee is over our ankle and we're stretching our leg back as far as possible. Try not to rotate your hips. So Chloe, if you show us what that looks like, if you're rotating your hips, you'll be more forward and your leg will be definitely bent. So keep that leg right behind you and make sure your knee is above your ankle. You could do that on both legs. Then Chloe stood up and is reaching down towards her ankle, um, but with her legs nice and straight and on the floor. Next one is a half split. So we've got one leg bent and one leg out to the side. This is for box splits, so it's good conditioning. So Chloe's now going to just do the other side for both sets, for all sets of splits. And we can practice that at home. Okay, so finally we're going to lay on our back. We're going to hold our ankle and we're going to pull our leg as far as we can back ourselves. And if you can only do a little one and you can't go back that far, that's not a problem. Just do as far as you can until you can feel it, but not so it hurts. A nice little pull. And we're going to do that on the other leg as well. And that's excellent. So that concludes all the things that we need to practice for our lessons this week. So we just need to do a quick cool down, which is much the same as our stretch warm up. So we're just going to go through that now with you. So you're going to look up to the ceiling and down to the floor and up to the ceiling and down to the floor. Then over one shoulder and then the other and one shoulder, then the other. So we stand slightly in straddle and reach your arms up in the air and then drop them to the floor, trying to keep your knees nice and straight so your legs are nice and straight. And just flop down. And again, we're going to do the same thing again. That's nice. Just relaxing out. We're going to put our hands on our hips and we're going to make circles with our hips. So moving those hips around. And finally, we're going to shake out our arms and legs. We hope you enjoyed the lesson. Remember, you can practice this all week. But for now, bye from Dunstable Gymnastics and we'll see you next week. Bye.